But it was very, very strange that it moved. That wasn't nice. That's that's the only thing I remember. It was not nice. It was not there to cheer me up. That's for sure. Um, and since then, I haven't slept with the with the lights off <laughs> alone. Welcome to the House Whisperers Ghost Series, and. In this video clip, we have Emily talking about her experience with a ghost. She doesn't like them, and she still doesn't like them, and she still sleeps with the lights on. So um, let's have a listen to what she has to say about her first and only experience with the paranormal. It was my second year um, at boarding school. I was 16 at the time and um, it was my first and last, <laughs> hopefully, um, interaction with a ghost and it was um, my second year and I was staying with, with um, a friend so we were sharing a room together and we switched room from from before we slept in in, um, in in the smaller house, but now we moved into the main house. Uh, and um, it was very strange. I was it was one night we were going to bed, and I just couldn't fall asleep. And then all of a sudden, I I was just looking. It was dark in the room, and I was just looking out. And all of a sudden I see this bright light in front of me. And it was really weird because I was like, oh my God, I think my mind is probably playing tricks with me. And so I was closing my eyes because I'm a very scared person, to be honest. And so I was like, oh my, my mind is playing a trick with me. And so I closed my eyes. And, um, but I had this sudden fear that you know it didn't feel like normal just I wanted to know what it was so I opened my eyes again and there it was and it had moved closer to me and it was like kind of a shape it was a light and a, sh a shape of a, of a human you could you could feel it was it was human kind of and I got really scared and I was like oh my god I can't look and then Again, I was like, I, I need to check again. And then I opened my eyes and it was, oh, what do you call it, hovering over my bed. And then I got so scared, so I rolled out of bed and, and ran into my, to the, to the next room, to the girl that I wasn't that close with, and I started crying. And I just cried and cried and cried. She was like, what has happened? What happened? What happened? And I couldn't tell her because I thought, you know, she's going to think I'm totally crazy. So I was like, oh, I had a bad dream, I had a bad dream. But then, two years later, and I switched room and I was sleeping alone. Um, I think it was, uh, it was Halloween. We were supposed to have, tell these ghost stories to the younger girls at boarding school. And um, everybody starts telling their stories and blah, blah, blah. And you know, every, one made up their stories besides besides this one girl that all of a sudden she starts telling the story about what happened to her at the school about the same time as I experienced this ghost thing she also experienced this ghost apparently and she starts with you know um, oh I was going into my twin sister's bed and I didn't want to sleep alone and I couldn't fall asleep and all of a sudden I see this light that comes towards me and she's not a superstitious girl so I, I was like freaking out because I never told anyone about it so I was thinking okay I'm gonna listen there's not say anything you know until she's done and I listened and then she told the exact same story and the exact she had the exact same experience that I did so she was like, and I, I think it was a little girl or something, but she was hovering of maybe one meter up, up above the floor, and that was exactly the same thing I experienced. 
and she got really, really frightened when she saw it. And, and then I just knew she saw the exact same thing that I did. And after that, I was like, oh my God, I saw the exact same thing. And everybody was like, all right, you guys, stop that. You know, it's sort of, nobody wants to know. But since then, I knew what I saw was real and it wasn't just in my head. Um, and since then, I've been very <laughs> aware of the people around me, <laughs> not just real people. It was hovering above my bed. And it was a weird part because if you have something in, in your eye or you're imagining something, it doesn't really, or if you have a light, you've been looking into a light and then you close your eyes, it's always the same size, you know? But that was the weird thing. It wasn't the same size. First I saw it from, from, far, from afar, and then it just got bigger and bigger, and then all of a sudden it was above me. So it wasn't me, you know, I was trying to look there, but when I opened my eyes, it was, it was above me, and it was really, really strange. Um, it was a very strange feeling, because I've never been that scared in my entire life. Did you get a sense of who it was, why it was there, what it was trying to maybe communicate with you? I mean, I heard the story that there is a story about this girl because the, the house that I moved to is the main house of the old school. So it's, it's the main building that has always been there. And um, so it's probably been there for a really long time. Um, but there was this young girl. It's a what I've heard um, before and after that this this girl hung herself she, she in that house a young girl she wasn't more than I don't know she was maybe 10 or something a really horrible story but as as I think about that I always think like oh I shouldn't believe that because I'm just gonna get scared you know but at the same time it was very I think that was, could have been her, I don't know, I think so. But when you first saw this ghost, did it feel like a male energy or a female energy? I, I, I don't know, because I was so focused of getting out of there, kind of, so I didn't really Be honest, I don't know if it was female or, or male. I couldn't. I don't think I. But she think she thought it was female. So I I might have made up that in my mind afterwards, maybe because I heard it from her. But I don't think at the time I I I, I thought about it. Or, so if you've got a story to share on. The House of Whispers channel, then do let me know and I'll be there.